Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Jain for Mind Mantra. There are a lot of things that you might not know about your eyes. But don't worry, we are here to make you aware of each and everything that you must know about your eyes. This video is about something that you may not know. It is ocular hypertension. Let us know more about this medical condition with the help of video. So here we are going to cover the following things. What is ocular hypertension? What are the causes? How do doctors diagnose it? And what is the treatment method? So let us begin with what ocular hypertension is. The pressure in your eyes is higher than normal, which is known as ocular hypertension. High eye pressure, if left unchecked, can lead to glaucoma and irreversible visual loss. Intraocular pressure or IOP is the medical name for the pressure within the eyes. Now when you know what ocular hypertension is, let us move on to the causes of the disease. Factors that causes or are associated with ocular hypertension are virtually the same as the causes of glaucoma. These include excessive aqueous production. The aqueous or the aqueous humor is a clear fluid that is produced in the eye by the ciliary body, a structure located behind the iris. The aqueous flows through the pupil and fills the anterior chamber of the eye, which is the space between the iris and the cornea. If the aqueous forms faster in the eye than it can drain out, the pressure inside the eye increases causing ocular hypertension. Inadequate aqueous drainage High eye pressure can also occur if the aqueous is produced at a normal rate but drains too slowly from the eye. Certain medication can have the side effects of causing ocular hypertension. Steroid medicines used to treat asthma and other conditions have been shown to increase the risk for high eye pressure. Be sure to tell your eye doctor if you are using steroid eye drops for any reason. Eye trauma An injury to the eye is another thing that can affect the balance of aqueous production and drainage, possibly leading to ocular hypertension. Sometimes this can occur months or years after the injury. During your routine eye exam, be sure to mention to your doctor if you have experienced any recent or past eye injuries. These are all the causes of ocular hypertension. Whenever you feel that you have undergone any of them, you must reach out to an eye specialist for the diagnosis. Let us now proceed to how do doctors diagnose ocular hypertension. Ocular hypertension has no obvious signs such as eye pain or red eyes. The only way to tell if you have high eye pressure is to have a comprehensive eye exam by an optometrist or ophthalmologist. During a comprehensive eye exam, your eye doctor will measure your IOP with an instrument called tonometer. You might also have your eye pressure checked with an air puff test. Both these IOP measurements are quick and painless. Intraocular pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury. The normal intraocular pressure is 12 to 20 millimeters of mercury. An IOP reading higher than 20 millimeter is considered ocular hypertension. High eye pressure significantly increases your risk of damage to the optic nerve, causing glaucoma and permanent visual loss. If you have ocular hypertension, your eye doctor may recommend you few tests to determine if ocular hypertension has led to glaucoma or not, and if yes, how much of the optic nerve damage has been caused. Gonioscopy First, gonioscopy to determine the cause of OHT. Visual field test to determine your field of vision. OCT of the optic nerve to determine how much damage has been caused to the optic nerve and lastly pachymetry to calculate the corneal thickness. Once the doctor diagnoses the condition, he recommends the most suitable treatment. The treatment that every patient needs to opt for depends upon the severity of his case. There are few generic treatment methods of ocular hypertension that you must know. If you have ocular hypertension, your eye doctor may prescribe eye drops to reduce your eye pressure. Because these medicines can have side effects, some eye doctors choose to monitor your IOP and take action only if you show other signs of developing glaucoma. In some cases, or if your eye drops are ineffective in reducing your IOP, your eye doctor might recommend other glaucoma treatment measures including glaucoma surgery to treat high pressure. Because ocular hypertension increases your risk of glaucoma, be sure to follow your eye doctor's advice. Have your IOP checked at recommended intervals to monitor the condition. This is everything that you need to know about ocular hypertension. I hope you have extracted some valuable knowledge from this video. If you have ever experienced the same, 
do let us know in the comment section below if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative notes about eyes thank you